Hello there again, Mike Grabham here. Uh, today, I wanna to talk about what it takes to, to understand your customers. Now, again, this is, you know, this is a series of, I'm just answering questions that people are asking me a lot. So this is a repetitive question that I, that I hear a lot, and that is, how do I get to my customers? How do I you know, find the first customers? How do I understand the targeting of my customers? So most companies fail because there's not a product matching a customer. There's no fit there. You call you hear it product market fit. That, that Most companies actually fail because of that, not because of lack of funding, how many people think. It's actually because of lack of product market fit. So the product isn't needed in the marketplace. They haven't done enough research to understand where the product actually cares. Like anyone cares about making the product. Like if no one cares about it, then you don't make the product. So you have to understand your customer. That is the critical piece here. So to understand your customer, you have to do many things, but one of them is just getting face-to-face -face with people. So that's doing face-to-face -face interviews, it's having coffees with people, it's literally standing on street corners and talk, talking to people. I've done that many times where, uh, here's, here's a current, I was helping a person develop a product and it was, a, it was actually a wearable product. And so we went, literally went on the street in Pioneer Square and I, we just stood there talking to people. We stood there for about an hour. We probably talked to about six, maybe 10 people there in that hour. And all we did is just ask them questions about how they serve certain problems. And that's where we weren't talking about our idea. We were just talking about how they solve the problem that we are trying to solve with the product. So don't be so excited about telling them about your idea. Talk about how you how your solution is is maybe different than other solutions, or if there's not one, that's great, but how are they currently solving the problem that they're solving? So you need to engage those customers to do that. And now that, again, that can be over the phone, it can be face-to-face. -face. Uh, I would not recommend doing email. That is not the way to do it. You know, online surveys are not the way to do it. You need to get the, the, the intonations of the voice. You need to hear, see people that are really helpful to understand when you're, when you're doing these customer interviews. So, so make sure that you're asking questions like what they do online, where do they go online, where do they spend their time online, what makes them, you know, what, what, what information or what things do they share with their friends, um, you know, where do they get their news, where do they spend most of their time when they're, you know, basically wasting time on the internet. Uh, like you need to ask them, like understand where they live and how they work and what their hobbies are, et cetera. So you start to really hone in on what that target customer does on, on, a, on a digital platform. So that is super important. Now, secondarily, at the same time, you should be asking about features of how they're solving the problem that you're solving, what they're doing to do that. Maybe they have a perfectly easy solution that they've created on their own or their, and they don't want product. They don't need a product. They wouldn't pay for a product. I have seen death for many products when they, they literally pushed a product out and had just crickets. No one was buying their product because they hadn't done enough research to know that the, actually people would pay for it. People said they loved the product, but the, they, they forgot to determine whether people would actually pay for the product. So you need to understand those things. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. You're going to kill yourself. So that's the, the answer today about how to talk to customers and how do you find and, and target your customers before you start taking the big leap of starting your company or pushing your product out in the marketplace. So thanks a lot. Until next time, have an amazing day. Bye-bye.